Hi everyone, this is Marie with Just Gorgeous TV. Welcome back to Wisdom Wednesday. Today is our third episode on Wisdom Wednesday. If you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do so now. Press like, share, and the notification bell icon so that way you can actually receive and know when these videos are dropped. So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different because although we are in the 23rd day of 2019 and there's a lot going on. I know that at the beginning of the year, a whole lot of people were kicking off with New Year's resolution, their goals, their targets, what it is they want to accomplish and all that good stuff. But nevertheless, in order for us to accomplish all those things that we set forth to go out and achieve and, you know, and conquer, guess what? We are going to face some darkest times in our lives, whether it's darkest days or time or however long that this season or trial that you're going through or the storm that you're going through is, is, is going to be ceased okay like there's a tornado watch you get warning for the tornadoes but you don't know when the tornadoes are going to touch down and if you are in the tornado you don't know how long it's going to last okay so if you are going through a storm a tornado in your life destruction despair sorrow heartache brokenness division all that good stuff i got some good news for you today ladies and gentlemen and that is to let you know that during your darkest time in your life, there is light. There is love. There is goodness because that's what God promises us. If you are going through a trial at work, understand there are times where you have to practice humility. Understand there are times for you to speak up, step up, stand up, and shut it down. There are times for everything, but understand that there is light because that's who God is in our lives. We become the light. Can you imagine being in a room of darkness and when you light a match, that little tiny match can just light up the whole entire room. That is you. And here's the truth of the matter. There's God of the Holy Bible and there is Satan who's the God of this world, and he is the father of lies. And guess what, y'all? His main purpose is to tear you down, break you down, make you suffer, make you run amok, make you desire the things of this world that has no internal value to it because the world puts value on it. But your life is priceless, but look at what's going on right now. Killing a person. There's murders. There's craziness happening around us. And guess what, friends? There's light. There's good news. And that is in Christ Jesus. And my scripture today for you will be found in the book of Psalm. Chapter 139, verse 11 and 12. And it reads, If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me. Mm, imagine that. Even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. What does that mean? It means that God has a promise for you and I that what was meant to be bad He will turn it around for good, for you. But are you patient? Are you obedient? Are you listening? Are you being still to hear the message, his voice? Are you willing to wait for the results? Don't be the one that's going to give up at the 23rd hour, not knowing at the 24th hour is when deliverance will come through. We need to understand that God is the light of this world and the devil is darkness. Understand that that also exists. But in Ephesians 6, 12, it says, for we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but the power 
of the dark forces. I mean, it's amazing to understand that we don't deal with the natural fight. There's a supernatural fight. And there is no tug of war between God and Satan. What I mean by that, God has already shown us in the book of Revelation that he has the victory, that he conquers all. So if we don't understand that God already showed us that he wins at the end of this, my friends, can I tell you that you need to start reading his holy Bible to understand and not be lost from that lack of knowledge. Do you remember the story about Joseph, the brother that was sold off by his siblings because of envy, jealousy, strife? And to Joseph at that very moment, he probably didn't even understand why he was being sold off. But what was meant to be horrible for him that was afflicted upon him by his brothers, God turned it around for good because he loves God. He was faithful to God. And God gave him a power of authority, or I should say an authority of power in Egypt amongst heathens to rule. Wow, look at that. And guess who came back to Joseph? Not knowing that was the brother that they sold off. But did the brother say, oh, look what you did to me. You did this and blah, blah, blah. No, he sure didn't. He gave them food and land. Why? Because God is good all the time. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. What is your purpose? Right before I got to record this Wisdom Wednesday, I had an amazing conversation with a young man earlier about a little storm that he was dealing with at work. And I'm going to go through the scenario really quickly. So please keep up with me, okay? And I'm sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. So here it goes. He's a producer. He's excited. He's winning. He's doing everything that he was told to do and beyond and then some, not even about the money that they're paying him now, but because he knows the big picture, that when he puts in his all, more than his all, that there's a light at the end, that there's light in the results of his work ethic. But his captain of his ship is being like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Sadducees. Instead of lifting this young man up and saying, hey man, good job to the work that's being planted. But yet the captain wants to tear this person down. And for the captain to self-glorify himself when he does not contribute anything besides signing a check. That is the darkest moment. But this young man knew in his heart that he had to go to prayer for humility to show up. Because it is easy for our ego to be destroyed and for pride to kick in and react because people's egos are bigger than themselves and they want their egos to be stroked. Truth be told. But when humility, the light of God, shines within you, you are slow to anger, quick to listen, and slow to speak. And guess what? The Holy Spirit will give you the words to say. And sometimes he'll just shut you up. Even though you want to say something, you cannot speak. Why? 
because you are a vessel. For a darkest moment that the enemy had utilized the captain of this ship to tear down this young man who's plowing the field and planting seeds for the captain and his ship to benefit. He's tearing down. Now, who is that? The father of lies. Vessels can be used by Satan too, y'all. But no matter how much this captain tore this young man down, he practiced humility. There's a time and place for everything. But God, right? But God. And so whew, in Ephesians 1.11, it talks about, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh, all things after the counsel of his own will. We cannot lose with the Lord on our side. He gives us light even in our darkest day. So if you are in a darkest moment of your life, understand that your storms, your trials, is an opportunity for you to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Because if you were doing well, you wouldn't call on his name. I mean, let's just keep it real, right? That's what this show's about. Keep it real. Because Jesus says, the rich man has no place in heaven. But a camel can go through the eye of a needle before a rich man can. Mm. So, just know that your enemies... And when you are that light, they will come for you. The greatest news of all is that when you grow in the biblical truth, his teachings are everlasting and it helps you overcome all the darkest days of your life. I know, I've been there. As I mentioned in the previous video, I went through deaths every year. Two parents, one auntie, and a nephew. Don't let the enemy blind you from your buried blessing and a gift because everybody has a gift. Everybody has a calling. In the book of Matthew chapter 22, he talks about many are called but a few are chosen. Why is there only a few chosen? Why? Because only a few are willing to step up to the call. Are you stepping up to yours? Just know that every darkest moment in your life, understand that God's love will conquer all. If you don't know how, if you don't know how to utilize that, please send me an email at marine at justgorgeous.com or right here, write me, post a comment, start a thread. There are many people out there that has gone through these things and have testimonies to share. There are testimonies out there. So with that being said, my friends, if you are in the storm, just know that it will pass. Believe and have faith that it will pass. And if there's anything I can leave with you is the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 8. He says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. Love will lift you up, and those who love you will lift you up with truth. They won't tell you the things that will soothe your ears. People who are truthful will lift you up in love, not lift you up and encourage you with lies. Well, 
that's all I have for you today, friends. Welcome back and come back next week, okay? This is Marie with Just Gorgeous TV. I can't even talk. This is Marie with Just Gorgeous TV at Wisdom Wednesday, where let's talk, keep it real, and move forward. And if you have a message or testimony you want to share, please let me know. I would love to share what you have with others who may be going through what you're going through. Bye. I love you guys. God bless you all.